my top set. I feel like Jeff Kennedy. She checking out my skin like I got leprosy. Mm. Hammer right around me like a car to fucking tell me. Sitting those bleeds like. Fuck is up, YouTube. It's your boy Chris Sean, aka Young Joey Ramon. As you can tell by the title of this video, um, this is a very special story time type of thing. It's about the time that I was a photo double for seven seconds. If you don't know what seven seconds is, it's a brand new series on Netflix. Just released, like, when did it release? I'm hearing a lot of people talk about it. So yeah, I guess I'm gonna get into the backstory of how I got the role, how everything went. And for anyone that doesn't believe me, I do have some uh, photos I'll put uh, randomly throughout the video. All right, so how I got the role, I didn't audition. It, the role was for photo double. I'm with an agency that uh, hires people to do background, background talent. So that could be just walking in the background. That could be featured background. That could be stand in, photo double, that sort of thing, right? Union and non-union. I know some people might not know what the hell I'm talking about. Uh, I, I can't really explain that right now, maybe in a different video. I think I was like, I think I was watching TV or some shit. I got a call from my agency uh, asking me if I was available to play a photo double. They were gonna cut my hair and that sort of thing. Oh, I forgot to say, this happened last year, late January last year. And once I heard cut my hair, I'm like, cut my hair? I don't, I don't know. I, I was like, you know what? I don't really want to cut my hair. This is probably going to have to find uh, someone else. I'm sorry. I originally turned it down because they wanted to cut my hair. I know, I know, but like if you, if you know me, right, before my hair was like up, I had sort of the same hairstyle, but my hair was up. And that was my look, my personal look. You know, I was constantly getting, you know, rolls and shit. It was my look, basically. That's what I told him. I was like, nah. And he's like, all right, you know, we'll find someone else. Probably about a minute and a half. Yeah, a minute and a half. I get another call from my agency, but this time it's a different casting director. He's like, hey, um, I saw that you turned down this uh, photo double role. And I was like, yeah, I didn't want them like cut my hair. He was like, I don't know, man. It's going to be a lot of work, multiple, multiple days. This opportunity doesn't come up like all the time. I do understand that, you know, you don't want your hair cut because, you know, it, it's your look. You're like the perfect fit for this uh, role. So I don't know if you want to reconsider. I'm like, fuck it. Because the fact that they called me back legit a minute later, I was like, damn, I, I guess I'm doing it then. Because like, you know what? Opportunities like that don't come often. And the fact that I turned it down and then they called me back that quickly, I was like, oh yeah, I'm in there. All right, I'll do it. It was like, sweet, great. So they texted me all the fucking details and shit. They wanted my sizes and everything because... You know, I got, I'm a photo double, so I got to like pretty much look like who the principal is. And uh, if you're wondering who I was photo doubling for, it was uh, Brenton. Uh, he plays the son. Basically, the show is about, I was about to spoil it just now. <laughs> the story is about, who the story is about, Brenton. And I was the photo double for Brenton. All right, so a week later, um, they hit me up to come into their studio for a camera test. Like in the early afternoon sort of thing. And basically it was supposed to be how they were gonna do the special effects and the makeup on me. Um, and I have pictures of that. I'll probably post that somewhere in the frame. The makeup lady, it was one makeup lady, by the way, that did all of that. Took like, two hours it took like two hours so I had to sit in the makeup room in the chair the whole time while she's like doing and this time she's improvising because like um this isn't a spoiler but the kid gets injured um, so she has to like replicate any type of injury that would happen within that instance once we were done with that they took me on set stage was supposed to be uh it was still being built yeah, for those people that have watched, that hospital is all stage. It's, lit it's literally all stage. Like, from the waiting room to, like, the entrances, they built all of that. 
So we went into the hospital room, sat on while well, I laid on the bed. They were doing, they were, you know, putting all the shit on me to see how, you know, they would want it to be when we actually shoot. So a few days after the camera test is when we were going to really shoot. I had to wake up really fucking early in the morning. Okay, if you're in the entertainment industry, whether you do modeling, whether you're a dancer, whether you're a singer, actor, actress, yo, the fucking call times are ridiculous. And where I live, like, I, I live in New York, it was filmed in New York, and I'm coming from like in a northern region of New York, like I'm not in the boroughs, so that shit, I gotta wake up at like fucking four in the morning to make it here on time. But honestly, it was a hell of an opportunity, so I wasn't, re I wasn't complaining. When I looked up the cast and when I found out Regina King was in, I was like, oh shit, Regina King's in it. That's dope. So I got there. Oh yeah, I met one of the uh, PAs. That's the uh, production assistant. She got me all together with the paperwork, wardrobe, gave me my, wa my wardrobe to, you know, put on. I went inside the hair and makeup department. And that was where I was gonna fucking cut my hair. And that's how it's gotten to this length. Um, honestly, I just kept it at this length because fuck it. First they cut my hair all off and they had to like shave this part more than like the rest because like the injuries. I had been with the agency at that time. Well, I still, I'm still with them. Um, this is going on three years, last year was two years. And I was mostly doing background stuff. Like that was my bread and butter with them. I've done a shit ton of background. I've had like, you know, certain opportunity moments that were pretty cool, but bro, this, this was definitely fucking an upgrade. I was a photo double and I was being pampered like crazy. Like it was like every five minutes, the production assistant would come in and ask if I need anything, water, something to eat. I'm like, nah, I'm, I'm, I'm good. I'm good. I have my own room, my own trailer. I never had that shit before. I'm like, yo, this is crazy. I don't never want to do background again. <laughs> yeah, I went on set because I had to like swap with him because since he's a minor, the kid that, the principal that actually plays uh, Brenton, he couldn't work as many hours that I could work. I would get in there, <laughs> hop in the bed, put on all the fucking things in the hospital bed. My job was to lay in the bed. <laughs> but that's when I first met the cast. Honestly, I didn't really expect to actually meet them. I never was a photo double before, so I don't know. I didn't know these things. But I was laying in the bed and then the cast walks in and they're like, hey, how you doing? I'm like, what's up, how you doing? You know, just playing it cool. Cause that's just how I am. I'm not like inside like nervous and shit. Like I'm a very calm person. So and then Regina walks in, uh, she says hi to me. She's like, oh, hi, how you doing? What's your name? I was like, I'm Chris, how are you? She's like, I'm good. My name is Regina. And in my head, I'm like, I know who you are already. <laughs> but you know, she's very cool. Like. I was able to watch them rehearse. I rehearsed with them. And there were like some situations behind the scenes. I don't want to go into like the very specifics, but I ended up being way more on camera and doing more of the scenes than I was supposed to. That's why for the people that have watched, if you see like, you don't really get to see him full on, you know, body. Cause I was there and I'm the photo double and Due to legal situations, I can't be full on face on camera. The AD, other people, they were telling me like they've been talking about and there's been discussions to give me a full contract when I was on the show, but due to legal situations, they couldn't do it. You know, I was doing more of the scenes. Now, it's not like I wasn't getting paid or anything. I was getting paid a lot, but you know, just in terms of like principal stuff, they were going to try and see if they can give me a contract, but it didn't happen. And that's fine. Um, the experience was fucking amazing. That's gonna be obviously a last of memory, but hopefully there'll be bigger things than that. So spoiler alert, there's a scene where the DA comes in to like check for evidence and shit. And that scene, that's all me. And when she comes up to like touch my head, I actually like move and she reacts. 
and one of those takes, I actually fell asleep. Like that was the very first time out of all the scenes that I've done in that bed. Cause I mean, it's fucking cool in there. I'm under the covers. The fucking bed is comfortable. A lot of people would have fallen asleep, but I, I didn't. You know, that was the very first time. I didn't even fucking realize. It was only for like a split second because I was supposed to move my head when she like touched me, but I didn't do it. <laughs> she just kept searching and searching until she realized that I was asleep. So she just, she just reacted without me doing it. And <laughs> they're all laughing at me like, oh, See, you fell asleep that time. I'm surprised you haven't fell asleep before. I filmed like three weeks, almost a whole month with them. Um, obviously not every day, but like two days a week, three days a week. Yeah, it was a very, it was a very memorable experience, honestly. And I got to sit there and watch that happen. Sitting there and watching that all happen right there in front of my eyes, all soaking it. It's like, I felt like I was cheating. I'm trying to become a working actor. Sit there and watch that and witness that and be engulfed in all that experience. Honestly, that's priceless. I can't, I couldn't really go into too many specific details. You know, some people might not have watched it. And then for the people that are watching it, they probably haven't gotten to that episode. Check it out. Um, this isn't like a promo thing either. They don't pay, they, they don't pay me to do any fucking promo. I wanna thank all of them for giving me that opportunity. And as far as this video is pretty much done, yeah, check out 7 Seconds if you want. You can hit the like if you want. You can subscribe if you want. I, see, I'm not the type of guy to be like, like this, subscribe to that. I do want you to comment though. Please comment. If you want more uh, sort of like story time-ish details, whatever the fuck about um, certain shows. Because I've been on a shit ton of shows. And I've been on a couple big name uh, projects. Uh, if you want those story times, please comment, man. You know? Yeah, I hope you guys enjoy this video. I'm Krishan once again, aka Young Joey Ramon, okay? Because I know I said it faster in the intro, so I had to slow it down. So you got it. Young Joey Ramon is a moniker that I gave myself. No one else gave me. I, yeah, I'm the type of nigga to nickname myself, yeah. Anyway, I'm about this big. Get my vessel is shining. Shine. She like the way that I'm rhyming. Rhyme. Look at them titties, I'm signing. I'm signing. G niggas still in my styling.